Now why y'all didn't tell me that Omarion from B2K really couldn't sing like that? You ain't gotta do all of that extra fun When it's all done When it's all done When it's all done Oh baby by the way Tell me no I want you Cause you know at the end of the day Everything is up It's over, you don't got no more songs, we done you ready? ready? You said what? That was your last joint, right? Wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Did this nigga, hold on, wait. Listen, listen, I need to say it again. We're done. Who said we're done? The verses. Nigga, who said? Play a song, bro. I'm on stage right now, my nigga. The internet is going wild after finding out that some of R&B's biggest stars really was up there struggling just to hold a note. I mean, some of these guys had some of the biggest Billboard hits, and when they got on that stage, they was sounding like this. It's the best day of the year, oh, hey. oh, oh. hey, yeah. think it's so crazy. He's not. If we oh. tried that, we could oh. hey. somewhere oh, to climb oh, It's warm long as you were. Hey, yo, stop. Now, don't get me wrong. I got love for these guys. They're still living legends to the culture. But why in the world was Ray J up there singing the biggest hit of his career, One Wish, with his voice crackling and squeaking like that? I wish to have a fancy car. Wish to have a million bucks. Let's go. Well, I wish to know being in love. So feel me, pretty baby. I make one wish and I wish it all on you. Oh, oh, oh. One make it love to the break of dawn. Me and you to the baby's born. And I don't know who told Amarion that he should be going against Mario in the verses because Mario was literally the only real singer up there. Mario was hitting notes effortlessly, utterly singing circles around Amarion. Saying I can. Somebody come and save him. Crying in Say, girl, I can hear it. It's what? Hear it crying. It's what? For me, for me, for me, for me. That boy Mario definitely held it down for Baltimore, Maryland, and that's for sure. But one thing about these versus battles, you ain't gonna win just cause you was popular. See, people come to see the real you. I mean that real, authentic R&B flavor. Those cinematics and theatrics ain't gonna work. And Amarion was up there spinning around, dancing, and eating sliced watermelon, trying to win the crowd over. I mean, he was up there doing everything except for singing. And truly, most of his verses was giving local artists open mic night for me. And that watermelon routine wasn't going to save you, bucko. And now the internet done renamed that man from Amarion to hashtag O-Melon. But this verse has proved that people with gimmicks can never defeat a person with a gift. The gimmicks just can't beat the gifts, baby. Straight up. This was an unwinnable match for Amarion. There was absolutely no pop locking or shoulder shuffle that could match Mario's pure singing ability. The way Mario dominated that stage up there, Amarion learned last night that true R&B talent is about ability and not agility. Whew, that's a word right there. Let the church say amen. But I love both of these guys, both for Marion and Mario. But I gotta keep it real and call it how I see it. And for all you celebrities doing these versus battles, them studio tracks and backup dances just don't cut it. At the end of the day, it's just you and one mic. Either you go hard or go home, straight up.